So it's time for a first time watch review. Yes, and today I decided to sit down and watch the movie My Bloody Valentine 3D. Yes, was it any good? Did this horror film horrify me? We're gonna find out. So welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome to my review for this um, 2009 remake of the 1981 movie of the same name, My Bloody Valentine. 3D. The 1981 one wasn't 3D, this new one was. Did I watch it in 3D? Like hell did I, with them stupid glasses on. No I didn't. So I picked this up in CEX just the other day, it was £2.50. I already had it in the collection. I hadn't watched it, but I didn't have this lovely, gorgeous heart, bloody heart slip. So I bought it again for that. Crazy, I know. So what do I think of this film? I'm going to find out. So this film here, like I said, it came out in 2009. It's a remake of a 1981 movie. Now this film here that I watched, it's rated 18, R in America, with a runtime of one hour and 41 minutes and comes at us by director Patrick Lussler, who had previously directed films such as Drive Angry with Nicolas Cage and Dracula 2000, among some others. And he's also the writer behind the fantastic Terminator Genesis. Genesis. Gen Genesis, I don't know. Um, make of that what you will. The film stars Jensen Ackles. Yes, Dean Winchester. Dean Winchester, the character from 15, 16 years of supernatural fame, who's also recently been seen in The Boys as Soldier Boy. Also stars Jamie King, Kerr Smith, among other faces that you may well recognise. The film itself is set in a small mining town called Harmony and we jump to some time ago, it starts off about 10 years ago, where there's this mining accident, a mining accident that has been caused by Tom Hanniger, who's played by Jensen Ackles, he's the son of the owner of this mining facility and some drilling goes wrong and it ends up trapping six miners somewhere down below and there's a rescue effort and when they come and they uncover these miners Lo and behold, they've all been killed except this one guy called Harry Warden, who has apparently killed the others to save oxygen for himself. They've all been smashed in the head with a pickaxe. So, this is how the film begins, and we get some incidents that occur where poor old Tom Hanniger, Jensen Ackles' character, comes face to face with this Harry Warden, who's about to kill him, but the cops manage to stop it. The film then jumps forward 10 years. I didn't realise this. I didn't realise this has happened. I, I may have blinked and missed something that came up on the screen that said a decade later or something of that ilk, but I didn't get what was going on at this point. So anyway, so at this point, we, 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 come, we jump forward 10 years. His girlfriend at that point is now remarried with someone else and all this sort of nonsense going on. He returns to the town. He returns to the town after all this town time, but he's not welcome there and no one knows where he's been. He's just up and vanished. And the killings start up again. So they start to believe that maybe he has something to do with these killings. But does he? Therein lies the twist within the film. And there is a twist in the film that, honestly, I didn't see coming, but I did see coming. So I won't go any more into the story of this film in case you um, you want to watch it. So what did I think of it? Well, that's the big question. What did I think of it? Well, my draw to this film was Jensen Ackles, because I like Jensen Ackles. I thought he was the best thing about Supernatural back in the day. I think he's really good. Um, so I'll watch anything with him in. Um, what did I think of the film? I had fun with it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good movie for what it was. I mean, it's not going to win any awards. I wouldn't have won any awards. Maybe it did. I don't know. But no, I had fun with it. It's violent. It's bloody. It's got a twist in its story. It's got some nudity in it. 
Not that that does anything for me. I don't care if it's got nudity or not, but it did have some nudity in it. Um, it was a good film. It, it you know, it, it sets up its story well. It's got an interesting premise, a decent premise. It's not really supernatural based in a sense, but is it? I don't know. Or is it psychologically based? I don't know. But the, well, I do know. But the film itself was a righteously good, violent, bloody time. And I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as what I actually did. Yeah, it's got some good performances. It's got some good kills. Um, you know, the, the little person, the midget, dare I say midget, dare I say midget, I don't know. I could get cancelled for that, but well, there you go. The, the, the little midget being whacked up onto the ceiling. Fantastic! Who saw that coming? She didn't, unless she looked up. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was a good film. And I had a lot of fun with it. I can't really say anything else about it. Um, good film, good kills, good performances. Um, I like the ending. I like the ending. Um, yeah, fantastic. I've never seen the original. I will say that. Never seen the original. Um, is that any good? Is it the same? Or does it do something different? Does this do something different than that original? I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments if you've seen this film, if you like this film, if you hate this film. I'm interested. See you soon.